what you guys got another video here for you on how to upgrade that old laptop to Android Bliss OS It's pretty straightforward and easy to do uh, someone mentioned it in the comments of my last video yesterday and they said can you do the same thing for Bliss so I thought I'd make a video to show you how to install Bliss OS very simple and easy to do I'm not going to be installing uh, the alpha version we're going to be going for uh, just the normal standard stable uh, version of Bliss okay so hit the download button once you get over to Bliss's website and uh, basically you'll be able to install this onto a desktop or, or onto a laptop whatever it is you want to install it onto okay and it should run pretty fast so let's go ahead and uh, hit that download button right up the very top here and uh, it gives you a bunch of things that you have to do to be able to get the download uh, coming down so when you hit this download here it will give you this page and there'll be a little window down here that says hello my name is uh, Blissbot and you have to basically tell them what you want to do uh, i.e. you want to download uh, the Android 10 or 9 uh, Bliss OS version I'm going to put Bliss OS 11 in here and we'll see whether it gives us the uh, download link so let me go ahead and type that into the box not sure why they're doing it this way maybe to cut down on spam and stuff like that if you can see bliss os 10 here gives you the option to hit the donate button and download it this way or you can just go down below here and you should see a little link here just click on this one here and it will allow you to uh, download it from the website here so what we're going to do is click on uh, that link there this will then give us access to the download page there we go and all we need to do here is select which one we want to do we're going to go for bliss version 11 this is the official version here and we're going to download this and get it installed now it may take a bit of time to download because it's not the fastest of download speeds so you just have to be patient i'm going to hit this one and we'll let this one come down so we've got four seconds to wait before the download will start as you see here and down it will come so just leave that running in the background and let that download once we get that we can then create our bootable usb flash drive so we can plug that into the laptop or the desktop and get it installed now you will need uh, some sort of software to create your bootable media and uh, you can either use etcher which is very simple and easy to use that's what i'll be using in this video in the last video i used rufus but for just a change i'm going to go for etcher you can use whatever you like there's other ones out there that will do this job but these are probably two of the best out there so let's go ahead and get this started so i'm at the desktop here of the computer on windows 10 and i'm going to fire up etcher and uh, what i'm going to do here is select the image for what I've already downloaded so I'm going to go ahead and select that you can see bliss version 11 yours may be different if you're watching this at a later date you should see your USB flash drive here mine's a, a SanDisk a 60 gig flash drive and then I'm going to start to hit the flash button here and this will go ahead and start to flash the uh, USB flash drive with bliss OS and this does take a bit of time so I'll speed this up you'll see it flash in there and then all of a sudden it will validate as well it should start to unmount and say the job has been completed and it's been successful so we can now close that down and boot to that usb flash drive i'm pretty sure everyone knows how to boot to a usb flash drive by now if you don't you can watch some of my older videos but this is what you should see you can boot to the live cd if you wish but i'm going to go to the advanced options here and for this one we're going to go down to the auto installation option and this will install this to a specific uh, a hard drive on your system and it will start to do this automatically so we need to say yes here to allow the auto installation to go ahead I'm going to let that go ahead and do that for me it's going to start to format those partitions for us and get them all ready and you'll see a bunch of stuff coming up the screen it will start to write that to our drive and you can see it's selected the SDA1 for my drive now if you've got more than one drive to be very very careful here now also we can now reboot the system here and that's what I'm going to do so I'm going to click reboot and click OK and this will start to reboot now you're going to see this and this is where we need to push E to edit the uh, booting order here so we want to make sure we change something here otherwise it's not going to work so highlight the top one and push E on your keyboard and this will allow us to uh, edit 
that um, particular kernel here. Now we need to push edit again on the top for the kernel and use your cursor keys to go all the way back. So you can use your arrow key on the cursor keys to go back to uh, an area where we can edit. So just keep going back until you see quiet. So we need to remove this by using the backspace arrow key. If you've got an arrow backspace arrow key or your backspace, you can go back here and take that word out. And now we can enter in a new word which is going to work for us. So we need to put no mode set inside here and in space X force uh, versa. And that's what we need to put in there. You don't need the quotation marks, so don't put those in. Just what I'm doing here on the screen should work perfectly fine. And once you've add, added those in there, you want to push enter on your keyboard. Push enter, then push B to boot to that uh, actual kernel there. And that will start to load this up. There we go. And now she's starting to boot. And everything should go through perfectly fine now. So I'm just going to let that go in. And there we go. We've got the splash screen there with the Bliss OS logo. And uh, we'll just let this load in. And uh, we should be OK once we get to the desktop here of the operating system. It does take a bit of time to first initialize all this stuff. So just let it do its thing. It's just getting it ready. So you just have to be patient at this stage. There we go. We can see Bliss coming up at the bottom. And now you can configure your keyboard and a bunch of other stuff here as well and get your Wi-Fi working if you wish. Otherwise, you won't have no internet access. Now, when you click on this button here, it gives you a bunch of uh, options to open up the browser and also go to a bunch of other areas here, like uh, the Play Store, uh, Taskbar settings, all that sort of stuff, as you would expect on a normal uh, operating system. So that's what you do there. And if you want to connect to your Wi-Fi, you can also do that in there inside the settings. You can do that. And once you've got that all set up, you can just go to the browser up the top and type in your websites and that should work perfectly fine for you. Anyway, that's going to be about it for this video. That's basically how you can install Bliss OS on any old laptop or desktop, or you can put it onto a VM workstation, whatever you want to do there or VirtualBox, it works the same. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Hope this one helps you out, guys. I shall see you again for another video tomorrow. Stay safe out there. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the red subscribe button and hit the bell notification button and click all to be notified when we upload new videos.